Juniper Networks and just the basics of getting started in Juniper Networks. I probably will be doing some more advanced stuff a little later down the line, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. So the purpose of this first video is to show you how to get started for free. And that's right, for free. You shouldn't need to pay for a class, nor should you pay for, uh, you, you shouldn't need to buy a a router or switch or anything like that. This is uh, completely free. So uh, also uh, you can, after finishing one, after finishing the course, you can get you a $50 voucher to take, well, you get a voucher to take a uh, the certification test for $50. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this um, and start right away. So first off, we are right here at the uh, learning portal for Juniper Networks. Now, it used to be called the Juno's Genius, but they changed it. So even if you type, you can type in Juno's Genius, it'll still bring up the Juniper Networks learning portal. And this is where you're going to start off at. Now, as you can see, this, this right here is the main page. You will need to, uh, this right here is the registration, use the registration screen. You will need to register, make an account with Juniper Networks. It's, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just go through the prompts and everything and just follow the instructions. Uh, you should be able to just get through this, get your uh, registration ID, and then you'll be able to get on to the Juniper Learning Portal. Now, once you do get on to the Juniper Learning Portal, which is right here, um, you want to look down here on this part where it says free. It's right there. Get started for free. Now we go ahead and click the get started for free. And it takes you right here where it see, uh, you can see right here. It says uh, start your training for free. Um, it, it takes you it takes you through the steps. Now you can pick one of, uh, one of uh, the different classes it has here. So, you know, we got... Uh, Maybe if you already have a CCNA or a network, uh, associate level network uh, certification, um, you have your class here to go uh, to just basically learn how to use Juno's uh, system. Or if you want to go ahead and get your associate level uh, certification for networking, you can take Juno's associate. Maybe you want to do cloud security. They have the basics right here. So you do these, you, you finish these courses and after you finish and take the last test or their final exam on there to get you ready, you get a fifth, you get a seventy-five dollar discount, a uh, seventy-five percent discount, which is a fifty dollar uh, a voucher for a fifty dollar test. Now, next, let's say we click on the Juno's Associate. As you can see here, you can go ahead and uh, register for the class. But first, let's take a look at the learning paths. Now, you click on the button in the top right hand corner here, it says learning paths, and it will take you to a screen, it will take you to this screen here where you can actually see the, the route or the learning path that you, you'll want to take as far as the progression of courses you'll take. And you see it's how it's laid out for the Juniper Networks uh, so, uh, certifications. Now, if you go back, uh, to the uh, subscription page or the uh, registration page, you'll see a button that says subscribe. You can just click subscribe and then you will see that you're subscribed for the course. It costs you, uh, like I said, it costs you zero and you can get started on the course. Now, as you go through the course, you probably want to go and um, do some labs. So now let's go over to the, let's, let's go over to the Juniper um, V Labs. If you have now, if you've already, you should be able to, um, you should be able to go ahead and log into that with your Juniper uh, account. If not, just go ahead and register there. What we'll do is type in in Google Juniper V Labs, and it comes up uh, up here at the top. Just click on that link, and it will take you to the uh, beginning page or the um, the main page for Juniper Labs. Now you can sign in if you have your account. It'll take you to your the login or sign in page. Now if you don't, you can go down here and uh, just click the new user registration. And as you can see, it's sort of it's pretty much the same registration that's probably if you haven't registered or um, it might need you to register again I forgot how they do it but you should be able to register you should be able to sign in with your account if you've already registered but if you haven't just go just click there and go to the registration now we're going to go ahead and sign in I'm going to put in my um, login information and we'll sign into the uh, the 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 sand your, your sandbox Everybody. 
and there you go you're it you're it now right here is the uh home screen for the sand for the sandboxes or uh for the Jun juniper v labs um you'll notice as you go down you have the different it comes with different topologies so you have your standalones where you have your um your virtual MX switches, or your, I mean, not switch, I'm sorry, your, M, your virtual routers, the MX routers, virtual uh, firewalls, and your virtual um, uh, switches. Now, you can go ahead and um, just go down and check. You also have uh, topologies already set up, like switching, routing, security, and automation. Now after you click launch, it'll take you to your sandbox. This is where your this is where your devices will uh, be in your particular lab. Now, once you get into your sandbox here, you'll see your device or your devices depending on what um, which one you clicked on. Now, right here, you'll if you click on it, you'll see a couple of options. Uh, you won't be able to access it yet because you have not reserved the uh, you have not reserved the uh, device or the, the lab yet. This is only setting it up and showing you uh, some options you have if you can take a look. So what we're going to, on up here to the left, you'll see instructions. If you ever need to, um, if you ever want to find out how to launch the device or, or the lab, or if you want um, to do any um, do anything, it's over here to the left. And then there's the commands. Uh, I'll go into that a little later, probably another video. And then you have your navigator, which uh, if you have a rather large uh, topology uh, in the left hand, lower left hand screen, you'll see the navigator in which you'll be able to see where your devices are. And then you have your various other uh, options. Once your lab is open, you can go ahead and you could shrink or uh, you could zoom in or zoom out of your sandbox. And then right here is the reserve button. This is where we're going to click. We're going to click the reserve button to get to reserve our lab. So we're going to go ahead and click the button, and, uh, click it right here, and once we click it, it'll start to reserve your lab. Now, this will take a couple of minutes. You'll Okay, so you'll go into, I'm sorry, you'll go into this screen, it's basically your preview screen, uh, give you a last minute look at all your, basically all your settings for your lab. Uh, you can make any adjustments, uh, the description, you know, uh, the who the owner is, and just uh, the email and everything. Also, you can set you can set your your uh, time limit so you can decide how how um, when you want to be notified uh, when the lab ends. So you could uh, you, you can go ahead uh, disable enable these uh, different um, options. We can go ahead and uh, reserve the lab. These are some other options. Uh, if you if you need to mess with those options, then you pretty much I I, I think you'll know what you're doing at this point. Uh, just go ahead and click the uh, reserve tab. So as you can see, is uh, reserving the lab for us or reserving the device. It's setting up. It'll start to set up everything for us. Now, if you look up here in the uh, top right hand corner, you see the setup. Uh, uh, indicator is blinking more time by extending extending it or you can stop it early by uh, just uh, clicking the, the hand the hand um, symbol and, and after uh, some time it'll actually show you um, it'll show you uh, off to the side how much time it's going to take to set up the lab it'll take anywhere from like uh, anywhere from like 8 to 15 minutes depending on how big the lab is uh, it, it'll it'll show it and um, you'll be able to see so at that point you can just go ahead maybe go get some coffee some tea or something or whatever you or just you know go take a rest break um, to wait for the lab to be set up um, and as you can see 
as it's being set up, you can see the different, um, you see some more options pop up. This is where you'll go to get into your console. You have your SSH, your virtual console, and then you have some other, uh, other attributes to command, which is over here to the right hand screen. And like I said, I'll go into that a little bit later. Um, so this is this is these are some of the options uh, as you can see it's, it's, it's uh, different there's a couple more options once you reserve so right here in the right hand screen right hand upper right hand side of the screen you see setup is estimated uh, at nine minutes so pretty much you, you, uh, at this point like I said just go ahead take a break and um, just give it time to do its thing so we're gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna cut the video off and I'll come back once it's started and we'll go from there. Okay, so the lab has been set up as you can see and up here in the right hand corner of the screen where the setup tab was, you can see the indicator saying it is now active and if you go over here to the left hand side a little bit, you'll see that we have two hour, basically the lab is about, uh, the lab itself is reserved for uh, three hours. Um, I took a little bit more time than um, the nine minutes so uh, usually it'll be three hours you'll have for the lab so um, go down and press we'll go over here to the device and press the SSH and boom right there you are in your device that is it now you can go ahead and just uh, go uh, type away at your commands uh, this device is I wouldn't say it's it's, it's as functional I want to say as functional, probably a little bit more than, um, if uh, definitely more than the uh, the packet tracer for Cisco. You could do a lot more on here, but this you can definitely do everything you need to do as far as studying or practicing for the JNCIA, even the next level. I believe you could do uh, enough with that to uh, to pass. So I I, I don't believe you will need to actually get um, any any more functionality than this until you get to a little bit higher level in the uh, in the um, uh, in the certification so for the first two levels I, I, I believe you will be good to go with this as you can see you can type in some of the commands um, I'm going to do like I said this is just to get you um, get you started or at least get you to the point where you can uh, get on here and try some stuff on your own. I am going to do a couple of I'm going to do some courses on some stuff that might not be in the classes. Some of the stuff uh, I've already, you know, I, I've I've done, and um, I'll definitely try and do some advanced stuff a little later. But uh, this is it right here. Um, go ahead, play around, have fun with it. Uh, just do do uh, check it out. It's, it's, it's really cool. Like I said, it, it is for me. It's a lot more functional than the uh, the packet tracer program. It's a little more functional, but uh, this is pretty much it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and exit out of the console. Also up top here, you can see some of these other options. They have been activated, but like I said, we'll go into that later as we need. So we'll just go ahead and press the end. And as you can see, uh, this. Uh, it asks you if you want to end the sandbox it goes ahead and ends and it cleans up the this cleans up the whole lab and everything so at this point you're done you can go ahead and click out you are done it'll start to tear down the uh, lab and um, yeah that's about it so this has been uh, augmented technologies I thank you for watching the video I hope you got something out of this I hope this helped you um, please help me out by commenting and let me know how I can make this uh, better for you or if there's something that you needed, maybe uh, there's uh, something major that's missing and they might need an update to this video. I'll be open to do that, but uh, that's about it. So this is Augmented Technologies. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please, uh, please, if you can, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe. Um, hit the notification for more classes and stuff. So uh, other than that, thank you. Have a good day.